this is Donny. Uh, so I made, uh, you might have seen in a previous video, the camera system from um, Zelda games, you know, like top-down action RPG games. So uh, I'm just going to show you quickly what it is. So you know, I can walk around, the camera follows me, you'd think, oh yeah, he's just got three arms, blah blah blah. Normal. But no. If I uh, walk to the side here, you'll see the camera stops, but the player keeps kind of moving, then if I go back in, there you go, so I've basically I've set boundaries for the camera. Uh, it's really simple to do, it's one of those things I, <laughs> I thought was actually going to be quite hard, but now it's a lot easier, and you can see, even when I go up and down stairs, you'll see the camera will still follow and jump off, and it. it's all fine and it works really nice. But I'll show you the blueprint quickly, so really simple, you know, I'm just in the third person uh, character template uh, you can see I've got the camera there, it's a separate actor um, all I've done is, you know, I've got rid of the walls because they're in the way so I'll open up the BP camera blueprint and I'll show you what I'm doing so first things first, I'm using the event tick um, I'm usually scared of the event tick after stuff but um, no, if it's something like this you can use it, it's fine so um, obviously it'd be quick if you're out of the code but it doesn't really matter it's just the one thing if you use it on the one thing it's fine if you use it on stuff that's on like the player and is constantly being used you know loads and loads of different stuff then that's not fine and that's terrible but if it's just like this one thing then it'll be fine so uh, the event tick I've got it on a gate simple stuff I made custom events so I could start and stop it uh, you don't need to do this, but I think it's a good practice to do, just so, you know, you have the option to turn it off if you need to turn it off. Um, and then it's going into two custom functions here called check player X and check player Y. So what it's doing is it's going into this function. So both of these function, well, events, are basically the same thing. All I'm doing is checking the player character's location on a certain axis. So I'm going to run through quickly the variables so you know what we're comparing stuff with. So I have the map center, so that's the point of the center of the map, that's where the, um, well, that's where the center of the map is. And I made it variable so you can set it to, you know, whatever you want the center to be. Uh, I've just set it to zero just because, but you can set it to whatever um, it will work and it's cool. Uh, we've got the minimum X which, you know, I put on a plus and then I just make the minimum X like a minus number and I don't know, for me it's just, just easier to like visually do that and then um, we've got to check in the max as well and we're comparing it to the map center so I'll do a quick little thing here so you can get what I'm doing so um, let's say you know, this is the center and then we've got this boundary we've got the so uh, Unreal Engine, the X is forward and backwards so you'll have the max X here which I don't know could equal like a thousand and then we've got the min X down here which would be like equal to minus one thousand And then what we're doing is we've got the map center, which will be, you know, right in the center of the screen. And we're doing, you know, checking that way, we're checking that way. And we're basically, we're just doing that and we're doing it for both the X and for the Y. So if I hop back into Unreal, you can see it's the same thing. So at the end of the video, I'm just going to, you know, just put the uh, camera just over these just so you can see them. But you know, it's the same for the X, so I'm just checking the X axis, comparing it here. Make sure you use the AND boolean here. I used the OR one the first time I did it and I was wondering why it didn't work. That was stupid. And then we check the player Y. Same thing again, but we're just checking the Y value. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple to be honest, straightforward. Um, this bit, you know, so, you know, if it's true, we actually call a new custom function called move camera x which is this uh, this is obviously it's, it's the simple bit you just set the actor location 
we're using a V in TERP2 um, we have the current which will be the actor so this is the camera actor and then we're keeping the camera actors Y because this is the camera X so uh, we'll be doing the Y down here in the other function so we're keeping the camera X but we are using the players X here and we're playing using the players Z as well so we're using their height that way um, if you walk up stairs the camera will follow and go up uh, if you don't want that you can just you know do that and then the camera will stay at the same height but you know I'd, I'd use this because it looks a bit better but you know for example we're using the get world delta seconds so that's basically this thing from the event tick um, yeah same again for the y just have a look pretty simple but uh, yeah and um, just for me calling it obviously this is just a quick cheap way just so I can get it running but on the event begin play I've just got the set view target by blend you know you put the player controller and set it reference to self which is the camera and then make sure you call the start camera follow as well because obviously if you don't call this it won't run so um, yeah that's everything uh, I just you know you stick the camera in the level uh, I made the variables public so you can see here in the bottom right corner I can just set it to whatever I want it to do. Um, I'll set this a bit lower because it didn't work. I did it, and then yeah, that's it. And then just see if I get past the threshold, uh, the camera stops moving. Even if I get in the corner here, look. And yeah, pretty simple.